This is for the free thinkers, the curious beings that swim upstream, who see possibilities, not problems, that learn from the past, live by the present, and create the future. This is the I Love Ugly Audio Show. Welcome to the I Love Ugly Audio Show. My name is Valenti Nozic, creative director and founder of I Love Ugly. In this episode, I talk about procrastination, how to overcome it, and why it's the killer of all dreams and productivity. It's a short and sharp episode designed to give you that necessary pickup in times of need, which we all need from time to time. Enjoy. Procrastination, a time-sucking, dream-killing phenomenon. We all procrastinate from time to time. After all, we are all human. It can get to the point when you delay your task by so much that you never actually end up starting at all, which in my opinion is the worst possible outcome. A lot of people ask us how we overcome a procrastination. Now, by all means, we aren't professionals in this space, but we do have a high output for a small team. With 12 collections per year and a constant stream of content, as a business, we can't afford to procrastinate, and I'm about to show you how to stop procrastinating. Here are seven handy tips we've broken down for you and use ourselves on a daily basis for you to apply the next time your brain tries to wonder or trick you into doing that task that you don't want to do. Number one, turn your phone off. The apps on your phone are literally designed to keep you there as long as possible. You'll be amazed at what happens to your mind when you stop consuming other people's content and start thinking for yourself. You'll feel more creative and want to create as opposed to consume. Number two, eat the elephant one bite at a time. What I mean by that is people look at the full picture and try to tackle it all at once. You need to break down the project or task you're doing into small chunks or small tasks. It's easier for the brain to process small chunks rather than big projects. The reason is it makes it seem less daunting and more attainable and far less overwhelming. Number three, be specific. And I'm talking about being very specific. Don't say stuff like, I'm going to begin working on my art exhibition or painting my lounge in the next few weeks. That's BS. Being vague kills clarity. I just want to repeat that. Being vague kills clarity. You need to be specific. Rephrase it to something like, I'm going to finish two paintings and have the name and location booked for my exhibition by next Wednesday at 4 p.m. with the exact date. You need to figure exactly what it is that needs to be done and only focus on that. Keep doing that and you'll achieve more than the average person and more than you actually could have dreamed about. Number four, do the hard thing first. There's always something easier to do, which is usually what you begin with. But usually, the hardest thing to do is the most important thing to do. The longer you leave the hard thing, the harder it is to get what you want done and complete. Number five, set small goals and look at them often. Now trust me on this, notice how satisfying it is achieving a goal, even if it's a small goal. The trick here is, the brain loves progress. So if you get smaller goals and achieve them, you'll begin gaining momentum. This is honestly the sweet spot. Once you have momentum, your confidence will grow, and when your confidence grows, you'll begin to feel like you can achieve anything, and you end up making procrastination your bitch. Number six, don't let perfect get in the way of progress. Nothing annoys me more than people saying they are waiting for perfect. Perfect timing, the perfect idea, the perfect person, the perfect business partner, the perfect product, the perfect customer. Perfect doesn't exist. The most important thing to do is to start, even if it's crap quality or even if it's not that good, which it probably won't be. It's far better to try and fail in knowing the outcome than not doing anything at all and waiting for perfect and spending your whole life wondering. Number seven, the most important step, deadlines. Once again, the brain loves deadlines. Set a date and time when you need to complete your task or goal by and things will begin shifting into gear very quickly. As an example, this podcast was a project I'd been wanting to do for the last two years. We had the idea, a few guests and interviews and ideas and intro, some music, but for some reason it wasn't happening because it wasn't urgent. And since we don't make any money from it, it was constantly getting pushed to the back of a line. This was getting to the point where it was frustrating the crap out of me and the rest of the team. So the first thing I did was pick a date. I gave us a month to finish it. I printed the deadline on the wall, which was the date, and sent everybody in our marketing and digital team a calendar invite with a date and time in which it needed to be completed. And I was very, very specific. 
miraculously, as some would say, it came together super quick. Once we'd finished it and uploaded it to iTunes and Spotify, I realized two things. First thing, it felt so good completing the task and it made me wonder why I'd procrastinated for so long to do it. And number two, we used the magic formula of writing things down to become the number one podcast in New Zealand. We printed it off, put it on the wall, and since we had committed to the idea, we figured it out how to achieve it. One week after launch, we achieved a goal of creating a number one podcast show, just like that. Hopefully these tips give you some value. I read something recently that shook the shit out of me, and it should shake the shit out of you too. That most people die at 25, but we only get around to burying them at 75. That basically means that most people let life and other people and other people's tasks and other people's to-do lists rule them and they spend their whole lives going through their emotions, coasting and wondering what would have happened instead of finding out what did happen. Good luck and I hope you end up killing it at procrastination. Thank you everybody for listening. If you enjoyed this episode and found any type of value, please subscribe to our podcast share with your friends and give us a five-star review on itunes to be in the draw to win a 200 dollars i love ugly gift voucher we will be drawing a winner monthly good luck and see you on the next episode